let's just discuss how friggin' cold it is outside. That's like two feet of snow right there. Anyways, hello there, street hooligans. I'm going to teach you how to break into a house. I told you how to find a useful means for lock picking. So your tools, and we're in. Told you I'd find a good reason for lock picking. This place is friggin' dark. It needs to turn a light on. Okay. I think this is a light switch. Yep, light switch. Hmm. So what do they got around here? Anything worth taking? They've got a lot of horse stuff. I realize this. Horses. Horses. Horse and ball. I'm a little confused. What the hell is this? Ugh, I just found something. Do I want to know? I sort of don't think I do. There are buttons. I'm going to press them. It's not doing anything. I'm concerned. Yeah, I'm just going to turn that off now. That was a little creepy. Hmm, what else have they got around? Oh. Really? Look what I just discovered on the coffee table. Oh, look, I found more. What the frig? Look at that sexy man face. Look at it. Okay, so you might be wondering why I'm here in the cavernous lair known as my parents' house. And also I've been eating Nizama's house too by association, I guess. Well, if we're going to make a video about Rock Bottom, I thought I would take you to the stony pit itself. I mean, nothing screams Rock Bottom like Twilight stuff, right? Also, what? Probably disguises, let's be real. <sighs> Anyways, there's a reason I live on the streets. And that reason is this place. You can see my parents are sort of role models in my life in that whatever they do, I do the opposite of. You see, <laughs> the streets, much better than living here. They're like <sighs> the crappiest Disney villains you can think of. Not even, because Disney villains' plans always work until the hero comes in. Whereas my parents, their plans never work. Ever. Ever. It's kind of sad. Also, I was owning every piece of Twilight merchandise. Yeah, nothing screams rock bottom. Like this. No, 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 no. Oh shit. So I heard someone ring the doorbell. And now I'm hiding out in the nearest room I could find. Which turned out to be a bathroom. But I'm going to continue my rant in here because I can. So I'm going to put my camera down on my bag. Shit better not fall because I don't have the money to replace it. Alright. What was I? Right. Walk. Bottom. Rock bottom is being a selfish jerk. So self absorbed. You don't even see your kids as kids. They're just tools. In the grander scheme that is your life. And that's messed up, you know? The only time I've ever been that messed up was a couple months ago. I was getting tired of the cold. It's winter, okay? Two feet of snow. I need to sleep. This face does not come without 13 hours of non-stop shut-eye. And that's not possible when you're freezing your ass off outside. So, I came home. Because I'm an idiot. The first thing that dear mom and dad do, recruit me in on their crap schemes. And let me tell you, they were using the oldest tricks in the book. This book, so old. Dinosaurs probably read it. If they could read. 
which would actually be pretty cool if dinosaurs could read, I mean. Anyways, potatoes. You might be curious as to what these lame-ass tricks were. Well, let's just say they required no skill, were stupid and uncreative. You know what? I'm going to tell you one of their crappy schemes. I'll let you decide for yourself how awful it was. So first, my dad, daddy dearest, top-notch father would dress me up in rags. The dirtiest, rattiest, either two sizes too small or two sizes too big clothes he could find. And then he would ship me off to a school or a church, some important building. And then I would cry about getting lost, about scraping my knee, stuff that no self-respecting 13-year-old would ever cry about. And then what would Daddy Dearest be doing? Well, in the case of a church, he'd be stealing from collection plates because he is a great specimen of humanity. Mm -hmm. That's his brilliant plan. I'm not even going to lie, you know? They couldn't have done it without me. Because Epony doesn't exactly scream, cute little kid anymore, sorry, yeah, you don't. And even as Zelma's getting a little bit old, I'm the baby face of this family. I'm the money maker. Like, like, they couldn't even pay their TV bills without me. You know what? HBO doesn't come cheap. I didn't even like stealing from my parents. Don't even get me wrong, I love stealing. Stealing is great. <laughs> it's like my only hobby. I don't want to do it for them. They steal for selfish reasons. I steal because I need to live. Because it's a necessity to survive on the streets. It's not easy being a kid out there. Not when you don't have any income. Not when you're under the age of 16. So yeah. I stopped helping my parents because it didn't feel right, which sounds like crap, but I mean, they didn't even give me a cut. That's bullshit. They didn't even give me a cut. And whatever. Their plans weren't even awesome. And I only live on Awesome Street. Uncool things? Breaking the Awesome Street code. That's the Awesome Street hand sign. You should all know it. You know what? I don't even feel bad about leaving my parents behind because... It's not my job to pull them out of the hellhole that's their lives. I mean, you can lead a terrible horse to water and all that stuff, but at the end of the day, all I can do is make the best out of my life. Do what I want to do and be who I want to be. Redemption doesn't come from a magical force or fall out of the friggin' sky or come from your kid. Redemption comes from you. You choose who you want to be around and what you want to be, and where you want to be. It doesn't matter what else is happening in your life, even if it's crap, because after you make those choices, things automatically get better. Same goes for your family. You choose the right people to be around, the right people to love, to call blood. And you'll never be on rock bottom. You know, the saying goes, the two most important things you pick in life your friends, and your nose. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is that rock bottom and redemption are both choices. And they're choices that you make. You choose the people you hang around, and you choose what you do and do not do. You have to make sure to surround yourself with people who help you make good choices. Find a good group of guys and girls and non-binary folk and stay the hell away from people who do you bad. Like my folks. Everyone should stay the hell away out of them. Also, stay the hell away from books with characters named Renesme. Or possibly Renesme. Because there are no accents on the name, so I don't really know how to pronounce it. I'll see you around, potatoes. Get rush out. <laughs>